how are you welcome back to my class today we are going to look at the divisibility test divisibility test but before that uh, I, I left an assignment in my previous class whereby it was talking about the, about the factors and I left this assignment express this number that is 196 as a product of its prime factor and leave your answer in a power form so first thing first you you write this 196 in a blank area in as we as we had said earlier it's a prime factor so we are going to deal with the prime numbers and our smallest number since our last number is six we are going to we are going to take the smallest prime number that is divisible by six by six and that is two when you divide this by two it will be nine and eight it will be 98 therefore check the smallest prime number that you will to be, be able to do to divide this number and that and again it's two whereby you'll get four nine since uh, two is not divisible by nine and you don't have and you don't want to have a remainder so therefore we go to the next prime number and that is three three will not be able to will not divide this number because when you divide 49 by 3 it will leave a remainder so the next prime number is 5 and 5 is not divisible by 49 so definitely it is 7 when you divide 7 by 49 you get 7 and you want the the, the last the last answer i want it to be 1 so you divide again by 7 you get 1 and you get my last digit is 1 Therefore, uh, you express it is a, in, a pre, in a product form of its prime factor. So you are going to multiply 2, that is 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 7, multiply by 7. That is my first answer. Then the second answer is, uh, always do like this equal sign. That's my second, my first answer. My second answer is you leave it in a power form in a power form this is two this is two this is seven this is seven so you take it you take the similar numbers higher two they are two times so you are supposed to say two two times two to power two multiply by seven they are two they are two times so it is going to be seven you multiply by two no this is my my second answer Without further ado, let's just jump into my my today's topic that is divisibility test. In this test, in this divisibility test, you are able to know you are able to know and to test numbers, the the divisibility of numbers that is two. You are going to test two. You are going also to test three, four, five, six, eight, nine. 10 and 11 these are the numbers that are found in the divisibility test and uh, let's start with two two for you to know that the number is divisible by two you are supposed to what are you supposed to know now two is an even number and two is divisible by even numbers so if a number if the last number of of any question you have been given its last digit is zero two four six and eight if the last digit of the number that you have been given has any of these this one is divisible by two so this is where we say now a number is a number that is divisible by two is we say it is divisible by two because if the last digit is zero two four six and eight that's all about divisibility test of two now we chip into divisibility of three how do you know that a number is divisible by three a number that is divisible by three if the sum of its digit is divisible by three for example if we have 39 
when you add this and this, 3 plus 9, 3 plus 9 is equals to 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. So that means 3 is divisible by 39, simply because you have added these two numbers, and the year solution is divisible by 3. Another, another question is 90. If you add 9 plus 0, you get 9. 9 definitely is divisible by 3. So if if the solution is divisible by 3, then 90 is divisible by 3. Hope you understand. Number f the, the other thing is divisibility test of 4. How do you know that the number is divisible by 4? A number that is divisible by 4 is formed by the last two digits which are divisible by 4. For example, 920. When you multiply 4 by 5, you get 20. So the last two digits are divisible by 4. And let's let's do it practically. 920, you divide by 4. How many times? That is 2. You get 8. 1, 2. 3 times 12. 0, add 0. So our answer is 230. So that means this 920 is divisible by 4. And you have said if the last, if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by by four. Uh, in the in this the divisibility test of three, you have said if the sum of the number the numbers formed is divisible by 3. That's, that's what you know about the divisibility test of 2, 3, and 4. Let's go to the divisibility test of 5. A number divisible by 5, we say it is divisible by 5 simply because if the last digit if the last digit is either 0 or 5 itself so this is very simple 5 10 15 20 and so on and so on so if the number that is that that ends with 0 5 it's divisible by 5. That's, that's when we say that number is divisible by 5. Then, divisibility test of 6. We say that a number is divisible by 6 if it is both divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. So, we have said, up here we have said, a number is divisible by 2 if... Let me say, if the last digit is an even number, because all of these are even number, then we have said that if a number is divisible by 3, if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. So, here yeah, we, are, we, are, we are going to say a number that is divisible by 6, by 6, if the number is divisible divisible by both 2 and 3 so the only thing uh, about the divisibility test of 6 is that you are supposed to know the divisibility test of 2 and the divisibility test of 3 we are going to know all about that we go to the next one that is the divisib divisibility test of 8 we what do we say that a number is divisible by 8. This is almost almost near to 4, but it has a uh, it is different in a way because a number that is divisible by 8, we say that if it is the number formed by the last digit, three digits is divisible by 3. The 4, we said that the last two digits, but in 8, we will say it is the last three digits. So, a number 
that is divisible by 8 formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8 by 8 for example if you are given a question like determine whether 7120 is divisible by 8 we take the last three digit does the last three digits divide divisible by eight this is whereby we'll take 120 divide by eight how many times one that is 12 the eight you get four zero 40 how many times five you get the answer to 120 is 15 so if it is divisible by by eight definitely this number is divisible by eight hope you are understanding then let's go to divisibility test of 10 we say this is very simple of 10 10 a number a number that is divisible by 10 a number that is divisible by 10 if the last digit is zero if the last digit of of that question is zero then that number is divisible by 10 for example 10 itself 20 30 40 and so on and and so on the the last and the final thing is the divisibility test of 11 this is about tricky it needs a lot of understanding because this is whereby we say a number that is divisible by by 11 if the sum of its digits of its digits in the odd positions that is first third fifth and sorry for that yeah it's clear now in the seventh positions and the sum of its digits in the even positions like second fourth sixth eighth positions are equal or differ by 11 or by a multiple of 11 Yes, that's why I have said it. I have said it's a bit, it's a bit yes, uh, uh, confusing. But it is not going to be confusing by the end of this lesson. You will have gotten the right answer or the right way to do it. Now, what do we say? Let me just use an example so that you can understand better. When you have a question like eight million two hundred and sixty thousand four hundred and thirty nine, you get the sum of the odd numbers this is the one two three four five six seven we have odd numbers that is one three five seven so you are going to say eight plus six plus four plus nine this is where you are going to get 27 then you take the this is the odd position even number position you are going to have my even is 2 plus 0 plus 3 you get 5 the difference between 27 and 12 it is supposed to give uh, 11 or a multiple of 11 for example 
this we have we have seen the solution to this is 11 the odd position so it is going to be odd position minus even position therefore it is 27 we are going to have that is 22 this is not 11 but it is a multiple of 11 when you multiply uh, when you multiply 11 multiplied by 2 you get 11 that is it we have come to the end of our of our question of our topic today but before then <laughs> i said that i will leave an, an assignment i will always be leaving an assignment so that always try to to do this assignment always try to reach me for more for further assignments if because i'll be able to teach and give maybe a single assignment if you if you reach me please let me know uh, where you are not understanding what you want more what you, which topic do you want me to cover for you yes so for a okay let me just leave this huh 1206 all multiples determine all multiples of this number 1206 and i will come with an answer in my next uh, in the next class thank you very much have a blessed day please subscribe like share press that notification button so that you never you never lack to get this to, to get this video thank you very much be blessed thank you